Okay, this is day two. Um, so the motor mounts, the bolts to them are 14 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off right now. That's the only thing holding this engine in. Uh, and then we're gonna try to get it pulled. Get those guys off. engine is leaning against the firewall so it's wedging itself in there so in this next clip you'll see me or you'll see a two by four in between the firewall and the back of the engine and that's just to relieve some of the tension so it kind of looks sketchy but let's see if this works <laughs> She's free. I got an inline six for sale. <laughs> Okay, so we got the motor out. Uh, this was already here, so we just mounted to that. And then I took out uh, one of the bolts uh, for the, I guess it's for the intake manifold and the fuel rail. This guy was attached to it. Um, it seemed thick enough that it would work. Engine bay is clear. I gotta clean up some junk that we're not gonna reuse. Uh, and then we'll hopefully find a a 350 or some other V8 to slap in here. If y'all are wondering how I actually got it out, um, so I lifted it above that fender right over here. Uh, I did have to scoot the car back uh, just to get to the lower points on this thing and basically so these these arms on this lift lock if you push up on this guy it'll unlock it so you can uh, you can swing the arm because typically you don't want it to move whenever you have a car on it all right guys we're gonna Go ahead and address all this dirt now that the engine's gone. Uh, we'll use compressed air just to blow it all out. So if you're wearing headphones, it's probably going to be pretty loud. Uh, so you've been warned. Here we go.
Okay, so that's a lot of crap that we just got out of the Datsun. Um, you know, there's just a whole variety of stuff in here. I think this might have been an animal, maybe a rat or something. It's disgusting, but yep, got her done. That's gasoline. <laughs> so I obviously removed the fuel line going to the engine. So I plugged up the jump box just to see what worked on the car. And I forgot to pull the fuel relay. So we're gonna do that right now. Ew. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. Oh, and it was this one. So this is the fuel pump relay. It was right here. I had four chances and it was the last one. So more fuel, lovely. everywhere that's great the fuel geyser so let's see what works in this thing I really wanted to see if the wipers are <laughs> in here and <laughs> these reservoirs are completely empty so hopefully I'm just gonna add some fluid and we'll have breaks again. I'll probably have to bleed them because I'm sure there's air in the water. Yep, looks like air in the lines. <laughs> Okay, so I got the caps back on, so now we're just gonna sit here and pump these guys for a while. It actually feels a little stiffer than it did, and it's not going totally to the floor now, so that's great news. Hey, what's up guys? I hope you liked the video. Um, I totally forgot to film a bunch of stuff, and it's kinda, you know, all over the place, but I was trying to get stuff done and it is only me working on this car and filming it so you get what you get i hope you liked it anyway <laughs> you know what to do also if you need an engine especially a 280 zx engine like this one right here and you are in the dfw area please don't hesitate to leave a comment or personally message me and maybe we can make a deal 200 bucks? I don't know. Let me know what you got.